Good morning everyone, this is Miss Ellington and this week we are going to finish our topic about brass instruments. Our learning purpose is I can identify the sounds that are produced from brass instruments and I can use music terminology when explaining instruments. This means that you're going to be able to discuss which brass instruments are which based upon the sounds that you hear. Now let's take a look at some other brass instruments. We're going to talk about three more added on to what we learned last week. Last week we talked about the trumpet, the trombone, the French horn. But first, why are these instruments called brass instruments? Just take a second and think about that. They are actually made of brass. Now brass is a metal that's made of copper and zinc. So that is where they get their name, brass instruments. The first instrument we're going to talk about is the tuba. I am certain that some of you have seen the tuba before. The tuba is a very large instrument and it's very heavy. Now here's some facts about the tuba. It was invented in 1835. The sounds that are produced from the tuba are very low, much lower than the trumpet or the French horn, even the trombone. The sounds are very low. And this instrument, like I said, is very heavy to hold. The next one is one that you may have never heard of, but it's called the flugelhorn. It looks very similar to the trumpet. So I know some of you are probably thinking, that's the trumpet. It's not. It's called the flugelhorn. Some facts about it are this instrument does look similar like the trumpet, like we said, but the tubing is wider. This instrument was developed in Germany in the 1850s, and the sounds that come out of this instrument are more mellow and not as harsh as the trumpet, which means the sounds aren't as attacking. So they're a little bit more mellow and sometimes can be nicer to hear. The last one is the sousaphone. Now, this is a very interesting instrument. This instrument is fairly large, and I said that the tuba was heavy, but this instrument is heavier. And it has a very unique shape, and you can see the tubing wrapped around a few times. Here's some facts. This instrument was founded in 1893. The sousaphone is similar to the tuba in many ways. One way it can be noticed is by its wide, flared bell in shape. This instrument is one that goes all the way around the person's body that is playing. Now, I have a picture that I want to show you so that you can see how it looks for somebody to play. This instrument literally has to be put on over somebody's head because it goes around the body. Now, I want to just talk about some key things. We've talked about brass instruments for the past two weeks, and they are very important when it comes to music and music history. Now, we talked about the bell, and the bell is the flare at the end of the instrument that the sound comes out of. Without the bell, you would have no sound. We also talked about the bore, and that is the space that runs through the instrument. That's the tubing. Now, there are some things on each of these instruments called valves. And these are what looks like little buttons that are pressed, but they're called valves because they're what produce the sounds and the notes that come out of these instruments. It's very unique to see. I mean, you have the tuba who doesn't really have valves. It has a slide that produces these notes. You also have the finger hook and the thumb hook that we talked about last week that allows you to hold these instruments. So these are just some key things that come up when you're talking about brass instruments. Now I want you to take everything that we have talked about in the past two weeks, and I know you all can do this because you're in third through fifth grade, that you have just a really quick assignment. I want you to write down two key things that we have learned in the past two weeks about brass instruments. I don't want just 
Um, we learned about brass instruments. We learned about the trumpet. Now I want you to tell me what were some things that we learned about these instruments. Next week, we are going to start a brand new lesson on music notation where we are going to learn about adding and subtracting notes. So I cannot wait to talk to you next week. Have a fantastic week, guys.